Every Chinese is familiar with this chubby, red-cheeked child. He is commonly seen on the doors of people's homes during the Spring Festival holiday. These woodblock prints first appeared in China about 1,200 years ago and have remained until today. However, the tradition of displaying such prints is fading away due to a lack of talented artists, according to Li Yancheng, president of an association dedicated to preserving the custom. We currently have 500 craftsmen. We have enough practitioners, but most lack creativity. We hope that more people with greater ability can join us and bring more innovation to this form of art. In order to encourage young people to study the art form, universities and schools in the city of Tianjin have created related programs for local students. Hu Yan is one of the students. I've been studying the form since the first grade. I started with crayons, but now I am learning how to use watercolors. The municipal government of Tianjin has also set up an art district that has attracted many artisans dedicated to preserving the craft. We hope that New Year art can become a mature industry in the future. We are developing related products and we hope that our efforts can boost the popularity of this type of art.